I am Dr. Abhinav Rana, consultant neurology in Manipal Hospital Whitefield. Uh, we do find certain neurological complications. There was a recent study published in Lancet um, from Wuhan, which noticed uh, neurological complications in up to one third of the patients. Most of the complications are very basic and uh, easy to manage. Uh, commonly, I iterate is the headache. Patients do develop some significant degree of muscle pains or muscle injury, what we call myositis or rhabdomyolysis which have been noted in certain percentages of patients with COVID-19 infection. The other infection, other complications which have, though rare, are uh, the gullian barre syndrome, which can develop post-COVID uh, uh, infection, which in which the patients can develop some degree of weakness. And uh, some studies have suggested a correlation between strokes and COVID-19, though not well established but uh, strokes have also been reported. The management of these neurological complications is very standard specific and um, in addition uh, will require uh, to basic COVID-19 infections. These all complications can be managed easily. This is a very common question we are being asked. Patients who come to the OPD or consulting us with video consultation are reporting like, are we at more risk of developing any sort of uh, COVID related complications if we get? It is in the majority of the patients, it's not the case. Um, the patients with epilepsy, the patients with headache, migraine, uh, patients with stroke, this is not the case. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Uh, the screening of the patients starts immediately as they enter the hospital. There's a designated staff, the nurse, who uh, who are in the uh, PPE, who are using PPE when they are screening all the patients who are entering the hospital. And they, the very specific questions related to the COVID-19 infections are being asked. They are being checked for the temperature. If they have any of the symptoms to suggest a possible uh, COVID contact or a COVID infection, they are being sent a referred immediately uh, to the COVID designated COVID-19 uh, clinic, uh, which is there in the hospital itself. Very limited gates are being used so that the entry and the exit can be controlled. Uh, the, um, while entering, the, all the patients uh, are supposed to uh, use hand sanitizers or wash their hands, and preferably they, they should they should all be wearing their own personal masks. And in the OPD, when they are uh, maintaining in the queues, when they are at the counters, um, there's designated spots for them to stand so that they can maintain the safe distance. Same, same way in the lift also the number of people entering has been limited and so that the safe distancing can be maintained as much as possible. As Manipal Hospital, we are open 24-7 to all the neurological emergencies all the time. We are seeing patients coming with uh, seizures, with acute strokes, with the patients in coma. Um, as they enter the emergency, um, they adequate uh, the staff, the nursing, the doctors who are uh, entertaining these patients. They have been uh, using adequate PPE to make sure that uh, the spread of COVID infection doesn't happen. After the relaxation of the lockdown measures, we as a Manipal hospital have uh, started our OPD services. Uh, we, from I, from the neurology of the department, we have started our OPDs from Monday to Saturday. We are available nine to five. In addition, we are also available on video consult, and uh, people who are interested can go online to our website and can see the timings of our OPD as well as video consult. We all need to show great courage, optimism, and character and compassion 
and uh, the very essential qualities which uh, makes us human and which differentiates us from animals will help us survive this pandemic and uh, safety starts with us all the best use hand rubs hand washes and mask all the best.